Today is Wednesday and I leave Saturday morning at 7 a.m. for a two and a half week trip to New York City, England, and Switzerland, and I have absolutely nothing packed. Clearly I need to get the ball rolling on this. I will give myself some grace given that I did just get home from an over seven month contract on the Explorer of the Seas on Friday at like one in the morning. So the past couple days I have just been settling back into being home and most importantly recharging because it is going to be a very fun but very, very action packed couple of weeks coming up. I cannot even put into words how excited I am for my upcoming travels. There is going to be so many fun things happening and if you know me you know I can't sit still for long so this trip is coming at the perfect time. Given that it is March the weather is definitely looking up it's getting better but it's definitely still cold I mean it was snowing here two days ago so I do have to pack on the warmer side. The good news is is that all the locations I am visiting are around the same climate so I can pretty much pack for one season and I should be good. So on this trip I'm starting in New York City. From New York City I am flying to London. I have two days in London. After London, I'll be staying in Manchester for about a week. From there, I will be going to Switzerland for three days. We are visiting Geneva and Zermatt, which I'm super excited about. Once all of that said and done, we're heading back to Manchester before I go home. If there's one thing I know about England, it's that it's always raining. It's a very damp place. I was just there in July and it rained almost every single day. So I am going to pack smarter, not harder this time around. In an ideal world, I would be packing in a carry-on. However, I don't think that's going to be the case because I do need to pack all of my equipment because I am working with a couple hotels on our trip, which is very exciting, but I want to make sure that I have all of the proper equipment that I need, and that definitely takes up a lot of carry-on space. I think for this trip, I'm going to be focusing on neutrals just because those are the easiest to pair together, to mix and match, and it will help me keep a more minimalist I was having some fun on pinning a few outfit ideas just to give me a little bit of inspo and also to help figure out what those capsule pieces will be for my trip that I can wear time and time again. Also, if you're wondering, I did get my hair done. It's definitely much darker. I really like it. I feel like it makes me look more mature, but I'm definitely still adjusting to it because it ended up getting really blonde from the sun. Starting out with bottoms, I am going to keep this to a minimum because I know myself and I'll end up wanting to pack like 15 pairs of pants, which I don't need. I have decided on these Poland Bear straight denim. They have some rips in the knees and such, but I just love the way these fit and I feel like this is the perfect wash to go with a bunch of different stuff. Spring is approaching, which means white pants are in. Fingers crossed we have some sunny days, so I am going to pack these Zara pants. They are like a straight leg kind of white denim and I feel like these are a good thing that you can make a bunch of outfits with and I'm also gonna be packing two pairs of trouser pants these are the same exact pant just in different colors these are the archer pant princess Polly I got them hemmed so they actually are the right length for me but they are the most flattering trouser pant and I love styling these so many different ways you can dress them up or down um, and they're very comfortable as well this is the other color I'm gonna be bringing it's more of like a chocolate brown sort of color. Let's move on to sweaters. I love sweaters, but they are very bulky. They take up a lot of space in your suitcase, so I'm going to try to limit this as well. First up, I've got this really thin kind of striped shirt. It's from Primark. I think this is going to be a really good staple to have with me. And this one is quite lightweight and thin. I've got this gorgeous off-white kind of cream colored sweater from Zara. This is just a classic. It's really nice and warm. So if it is a cooler day, especially when we're in Switzerland, I definitely think I'm going to get some good use out of this. I guess this is more of a shirt than a sweater, but it is a thicker kind of sweater material. So I am going to be bringing this button down. It's got a collar, really fun little bell sleeves, and once again, great staple to have. Last sweater for now that I'm going to be pulling is this cropped kind of turtleneck sweater. I feel like this is a good muted color that I can wear with a bunch of the different bottoms that I've got. I'm limiting myself to one flannel. I've pulled five basic bodysuits. These are going to be interchangeable with whatever I wear and they're perfect for layering and styling and they're just easy. So I've got this white high neck bodysuit, this long sleeve white bodysuit, 
this tan turtleneck bodysuit, this deep brown short sleeve bodysuit, and last but not least, this long sleeve bodysuit with a square neckline from Princess Polly. I do want to pack one mini skirt, so I'm going to be bringing this pleather one from Princess Polly. Another staple, in my opinion, is a basic button down, so I have pulled two to bring. The first is just a basic white one, and the other is a blue pinstripe one. I got this one at Zara, and I think both of these are going to be used often. I have this Tupperware full of like tank tops and short sleeves so I'm gonna pull a couple basics from here just to have a little bit of variety for a more casual day or if we're just staying in the house. Obviously I just want something easy to throw on. I am gonna bring this light gray short sleeve, a white short sleeve of course, this tan little tank top, a light pink tank top, a red tank top just for a fun little pop of color, and just a basic black short sleeve shirt. This is where we're at so far. Pile is looking pretty good, keeping it quite small, and everything I can mix and match. I do need to put this on hold for today, but we will return tomorrow and fingers crossed finish it. It is Friday, which means I have less than 24 hours until I leave for my two and a half week trip. Yesterday was an extremely work heavy day and stressful day because I also had to file my taxes so I wasn't able to get any progress made on the packing but today is the day. It has to be because I leave tomorrow. I'm feeling good about it. I really don't think it's going to take long. Before bed, I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw a couple reels for the 333 method, which I'm going to take inspiration from when finalizing what I'm packing. I am about to run out the door and head to Target. I want to grab a couple things. I really need color safe shampoo for my hair. I'm gonna buy full size and then just put them into like little travel containers. And then I wanna get a couple other little toiletries here and there for the trip, but really don't need much. So I'm just gonna grab a few things and then we'll be back and get going with the packing. really necessary for my trip but I will want them when I come back so I thought I'd pick them up since I was there already starting off with shampoo and conditioner I got the L'Oreal Elvive color vibrancy so it's color safe shampoo I'm just gonna put this into like the little travel size when I go I also got a full-size dry shampoo because I will need this when I return a new mascara, mine's getting a little bit old and I wanted to try a different color of the Essence mascara. I usually use the like mint green colored one, so I got this one instead. This is the Curl and Volume. Got another Aussie Curl Defining Oil. And then I got four different little travel size products. They were buy three, get one free, and I actually didn't even plan to do that. It just happened that way. So first one I got is a not your mother's curl talk cream. I got a mini dry shampoo, a travel size native body wash, and then a travel size hairspray as well. And that's everything. Oh, a good treat for you. She knows something's coming. She just doesn't know what. Oh, look at that. Ooh, can I have a pop? Good girl. Got it. Oh, oh. That's a nice looking treat. There she goes. She's like, we're gonna hide. It's time to finish this freaking packing. I'm hoping to film a couple reels as well. Let me show you what we've got. I ended up swapping my jeans for this pair and said I thought that, you know, no rips might be a little bit better because the weather will probably be unpredictable. And I have decided to bring a second pair of denim just to have options to mix and match so I'm not wearing the same pair of jeans like a billion times. I have a darker wash just to give some variety. These ones are from Zara. 
I have pulled a couple additional pieces as well to add. First is this asymmetrical long sleeve kind of sweater blouse. I've got this vest, which I think will be really cute if it's warm enough. I also wanted a little pop of color for springtime, so I've got two bodysuits and this little tank top, a striped cardigan. This is gonna be super versatile, a cream maxi skirt, and a black maxi dress, which I can pair with so many things. And I have decided to put this one back in the closet. In total, this is everything that I'm packing clothing-wise. I've got two pairs of trouser pants, I've got three pairs of denim, a dark, a lighter, and a white wash, two long sleeve shirts, a black and a white, I've got two bodysuits, three tank tops, four short sleeve t-shirts, three button downs, one flannel, one long sleeve blouse. I've got the vest, one dress, one skirt, and four sweaters. I would say I've done pretty well for myself and I think that everything I've packed will be able to mix and match with each other. One more thing I forgot is this blazer. I think this is going to match and pair well with pretty much everything that I've packed. For shoes, I'm thinking a pair of flats. These are Steve Madden. I've got a pair of loafers. I think these are gonna be super cute. Definitely wanna bring my sneakers. And then maybe a pair of white sneakers, either my New Balances or my Stan Smiths maybe. I'm The only thing I worry about with the New Balance is that they're suede, so they might get ruined when it rains. I definitely need to pull some activewear. Let's be real, I'm gonna be living in leggings on the days that we're just lounging around the house. So I wanna have a couple pairs, especially because I want to try and do some workouts while I'm there. Obviously it's not the priority, but movement is important. So I've got a pair of black leggings. Also, I have access to washer and dryer, so should not be an issue. I wanna bring my new red ones. Three, four, five. And to go with the leggings, I've got two sports bras and three workout tops. I've pulled a couple accessories that I want to pack with me. So I've got a belt and a pair of sunglasses. Umbrella is necessary. Two hats. I've got a warmer hat and some earmuffs for Switzerland. I've also grabbed three little scarves to mix and match with outfits, pink for pop of color, and my pajamas. Now it's time to actually put the stuff into the suitcase. I swear by packing cubes. I know everyone's got different theories of what works best, folding versus rolling, the like vacuum bags versus the packing cubes. I personally love my packing cubes and they have never failed me and I pack a lot of stuff going to a contract and coming back from a contract. So I will have these linked. They're from Amazon. They were super cheap. We're going to just get to it. I'm going to try to keep the same or like similar items together in each cube. It's just easier because then you know what is in each one rather than putting them in random places and then you're kind of digging for things. <laughs> relatively light compared to when I travel to and from a contract, so you should be fine. And I have tons of space in here. I don't really plan to buy much. I might get a couple things here and there, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge like shopping trip. Now I need to move on to makeup, toiletries, and my carry-on situation. I've just found my hat in here and I need to throw it back on because I need to wash my hair tonight. It looks really gross, so we're just gonna hide it. I have these little clear bags that I'm going to put all of my toiletries in as well as my makeup. Setting spray, hairspray, curl cream, dry shampoo, body wash. I've just realized this is not body wash. This is shampoo. I have these little travel size pouches that can hold shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. And I actually have this one left over from last trip. So I'm gonna throw this in there. These I need to fill with my new shampoo. Alrighty, into the bag. I'm just gonna top off my micellar water. And last but not least, my skincare. Makeup I'm gonna try to keep as minimal as possible. I do pretty much the same thing every day. Every so often I'll do like eyeliner and eyeshadow, but 
my bass is pretty much the same. Here we go. I am bringing my drone for the footage in Switzerland. So I do have to bring this in the bag, which takes up a lot of space, but that's okay. Toiletries, makeup, tripod. In this little pocket, I'm gonna put my eyeshadow palettes. Everything's good to go. I've just gotta grab my laptop and then all of my like camera batteries and things like that. Once those are charged, but I think it's time for a well-deserved shower. I need to wash my hair so badly so it's nice and fresh and it's gonna be an everything shower, so.